Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappingkatie.ctmh.com. So I am participating in a scavenger hunt fall Halloween layout challenge here on YouTube. Here on YouTube. And here is a list of all the scavenger hunt items that we can use and we can pull from. Now, so far, I just have this photo of our oldest son a couple of years ago in his Halloween costume. And then I have pulled some old, old pattern paper from my stash. This is sarsaparilla. And as you can see here, it is not Halloween themed at all. And so I'm going to make this Halloween layout, um, but using this kind of country rodeo theme paper to go perfectly with his tombstone Halloween costume. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull some more things from the scavenger hunt list as well as maybe a sketch or one of my how-to pattern books and then I will be right back. Okay so I've cut um, the pieces that I believe I'm going to use and one of the scavenger hunt items is stickles or glitter gel. So I'm going to be using the Stickles Glitter Gel. Just kind of add some texture around these pieces because otherwise the layout's pretty basic. Okay, so I'm going to lay out these biggest pieces just to kind of see where I want that Glitter Gel. My photo's going to go about right here. So I probably want it right here and then maybe some down here. So since I'm going to go pretty close to the edge, I'm going to pull out my all-purpose mat. And this is just one that's cut in half. I uh, find that it's a little easier to work with on my workstation. And I love this glitter gel has stars in it. And so one of the things I'm going to be pulling in are stars, you know, because he is a sheriff. So I really want this thin. And you can also run this glitter gel through stencils. I just decided not to. Since it's already got the stars in it, the only stencil I probably would have used would be stars and I just thought it would be um, kind of cluttered. So I'm trying not to get where you can see the streaks, but you definitely, I want you to see those stars. So I finished that off and then I thought, well, I'm going to let it dry anyway. I'm going to add some gold shimmer splatters. Just, you know, there's a lot of white space and I will be filling it in with stickers and stuff like that, but if I can go ahead and put the gold shimmer brush splatters in there before it dries, then that's always a good thing. Okay, while that's drying, I thought we would go ahead and build our shaker element, which is one of the scavenger hunt items. And of course, I'm going to use a star because, again, I'm kind of playing on the fact that he is a sheriff in this photo. So I've pulled out the star acetate and the foam. And I like to just separate the outside of this star. If you're not familiar with these, there's an outside, which is what creates the shaker, and then not to waste any, these are just extra square foams um, that you can use, which is always good because you can never have too much foam tape. But I like to separate the outside from those inside squares, so I need to break that adhesive. So I'm just running my paper piercer, but you could do your fingernail, scissors, anything like that. And then also there's definitely a right side and a wrong side to these stars. So 
I always have to be really careful because once I start peeling stuff off, it's always a bad thing. Okay, so on one side of this is an acetate. So I'm just going to take it off and then run my anti-static pouch over it. That way the sequins won't stick. And I'm actually going to do a different shaker card. Um, I saw a layout by Shannon. She's one of the ones that I always do these YouTube hops with. And she had her title was Fall and it had some sequins in there, but it, the, the, the sequins were just so many that it didn't, um, what's the word? Oh, it didn't shake. So there's just, it's just jam packed full of sequins. So I've cut the cover to the star and you know that will hide the foam and then cut the base of the star and that's going to allow us to build it separately and then attach it to the layout later since we're waiting for that stickles to dry. So I am going to separate the inside from the outside. And so, remember, this is why I did the uh, paper piercer all around the side. And then those insides just stay on that little carrier sheet, and I can use them later. Now, again, this is where you kind of have to... No where to line it up and then if all else fails I just trim around it so I can trim that little piece off this isn't as important if you're just building your shaker on your layout but since we're doing it separately or a card. These can go in cards as well. Okay, so I've got that. And then again, I just want to see the acetate. I don't want to mess up. So I just want to see how this is going to fit on. So it's going to fit on like that. I am going to rub this with my anti-static pouch. And then I have two sequins. I have just regular gold loose sequins and then I have stars. I would use all stars, but because they're so tiny and I am just going to fill this to the brim, I was just afraid that it would just take too much and I don't want to waste them like that. So that and then I'm going to come back in with the little bitty stars and kind of shake those and even them out. Okay, let's see how smooth I can make this look. I did have to take out a bunch. The one thing about this shaker is the foam is not very thick. So, I kind of overfilled it. Okay. So, it's nicely. This is like super sticky. So, I'm even scared that my fingers are going to stick like that. Okay, and then I've got one sticking up here. Of 
Okay. Here goes. Here goes. Cute. And then we put this on top of there, and that's going to be his little sheriff star. Okay, so now I think we are ready to start adhering things down. So this real pretty paisley is going to go over here. And I like that. And then one of these strips will go over the top, but I'm going to wait until I put this one on. And line that up. You can bring, bring out your ruler to see if it's straight, but I think I'm going to do some sort of pull up in here anyway. Just because, you know, I have about sheriffs and a wild, wild west can't be all prim and proper in my opinion. Okay, so I've got that one done, and then this one. And then I just, I'm in love with this paper right here. So I think I'm going to do that directly to the layout. Actually, I'm going to edge just this. Okay, and then I'm just going to center it right here from the bottom and the side. And then one of the items, tissue paper, I'm just going to tear the tissue paper right here and double it up. And then I'm going to tear around my photo. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive down to get that done, but I think I'm actually going to maybe use foam tape over here. Then, you know, some of those looked pretty straight, but what I can do is I can then unglue these. Is that I can offset them just a tad. And then I can glue on my photo. And I think I actually want to add some sponging to the edge of that tissue paper. Okay, so I edged to stress that. I I think I want to put this one down right here. I just love this pattern paper. And then I'm not going to do anything with this photo yet until I start tucking in all the embellishments. So we've got the star. I've got a couple of wood embellishments. Isn't that just so cute? Um... I have these little brad things. So one of the things was metal. And so I'm thinking I'm going to spill out 2018 down here. And then I wanted to pull some more stars. So I have that one. Something needs to go down here. Maybe I need a big one down here. And then a little one. So I am speeding up the embellishing quite a bit and I'm just going to be using stickers and then some of those scavenger hunt items. So one of the items is a tag so I'm definitely going to use that on the left side of that photo. And then I'm going to play around with some of the other stickers. There's a horseshoe and some stars. And then, of course, you can see where I um, tried to do some of those little um, badge buttons, or I don't know what you call them, uh, flare, but that didn't work. 
And then I'm going to try to add ribbon because that's on the scavenger list. And then I decided for jute instead. Now I hope uh, the jute qualifies because there is a thread and a ribbon and I feel like jute's kind of in between. So I decided to tie that onto a pin, which was another one of the items, and then also kind of add jute to another place. So I am just running that along those strips of blue pattern paper. And then using my stapler, I love my mini stapler. Um, even though it's silver, you know, I do have the date that I'm going to put on here in just a second, and those are silver eyelets. And it's just a quick and easy way to add ribbon or anything that's really hard to glue down to your layout. So I'm going to tuck that little pin into that star of that tag. And then I went ahead and added 3D foam tape to my photo. And I'm going to tuck that star in behind there. And then I am going to color those wood stars using my toffee ink that I've also used on the layout before. And I've just got a sponge and I'm just going to sponge that toffee ink all over these wooden stars. I think it kind of adds um, a distressed look, kind of an antique look, which is kind of what I'm going with for this layout. So I've kind of laid those out where I want them and then glued them down off camera. And then I definitely want people to know that this is Halloween and that's why he was dressing up. So I've pulled out a stamp set, the October uh, months of the year, and there is a Happy Halloween. Now, I was thinking about using the entire Happy Halloween, but it's just a little bit too bulky. So I end up cutting off the Happy, and then, of course, I am edge distressing that little piece to match the rest of the layout pieces that are edge distressed. And so I am happy with this. I'm going to ink toffee ink around it again <clears throat> to add that little antique look. And then I'm going to add 3D foam to the back of that. Now I am using those centerpieces to that star shaker that I had. I'm just peeling the backing off and then attaching that little Halloween directly to those squares and then peeling it off. Now I'm going to add some brads. That is one of the scavenger hunt items. And I have these, they're not really gold, but they're pretty close. So I don't think that they clash too much with all the other gold that I've got going on. And I love them because they're glittery. Um, there's a real big one and then some small ones. And then of course, just tying knots into that jute and then trimming those down is all I'm going to do versus tying a bow into that. Now for the date, again, I have these, they're eyelets. I don't know, I've had them for forever. Um, I'm spelling out the year, and so that's 2018. So I've decided for that to go at the bottom of the photo, which is not, I really all along thought it was gonna go to the bottom right, but I just couldn't make it work. So I've got my paper piercer and I am just punching holes and then the backs of those eyelets are just going to um, go through those holes, and then I'm going to turn the layout over and bring out my eyelet setter. Now, this is something my house hasn't heard in a while, but I'm always glad to have it in my stash and use it when I can. And then I am going to use one of those flare buttons down at the bottom that says first place. Now, I did off camera edge distress this entire layout and then went ahead and tore some at the top and added some more of that pattern paper that is behind that tissue. Remember me saying it was my favorite, so I really wanted to add some more of that. Now, I did tear it just a little bit too much, so I'm trying to hide that with another wooden star inked up in that toffee ink. And then I'm just adding some of these little bitty gold confetti stars up around that as well. So here are some still shots of the layout. Overall, I had really, I had a lot of fun with this. This is the first time I've ever done a scavenger hunt uh, list on a layout. And I was able to get nine items in and it was really fun. And then you can see by here, you can just see all the sparkle that is on this layout. And even though I used random items, I think that they're pretty much all cohesive in this layout and did what I wanted it to do. So again, I'll leave a link down or several links down below to the products that I used as well as the scavenger hunt list and then all the ladies that are playing along here on YouTube and on Instagram. I would love if you would kind of click into those links and go visit those ladies and see what they have to share. 
And then as always, if you are here by one of their blogs and you aren't a subscriber yet, I would love to have you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time I post a crafty video. Happy Halloween and have a great week.